So you guys often hear me talk about Etsy as being the marketplace to sell your digital products. And I am definitely, that is that is my main point of call. It's where I sell 99.9% of my digital products. So it's amazing, but it's very important not to put all of your eggs in the Etsy basket. So this video is about diversifying where you actually sell your digital products. And that can in turn actually bring you more sales and help you build up to daily sales for your digital product business sooner. So obviously first on the list, we've got Etsy. So Etsy.com, Etsy is amazing. You can list your products for 20 cents per listing. And it's a very, very high volume marketplace. It has a lot of people coming through buying digital products. It's an amazing place to sell them. Another great place is Creative Market. Now, Creative Market is application only. So you do need to have your digital products like on your website or have an open Etsy store. And basically when you apply, you just link to where your digital products are. Creative Market will review them and then they'll approve your shop based on that. We also have Gumroad, which is getting really, really popular. And I've had a couple of people actually be like, oh, have you seen this this week? And yeah, it, it looks really good. I was having a look at their payment sort of options and it looks like they've got a really, really low barrier to entry, which is amazing. So basically it says zero dollars. You can upload all this stuff for free and just pay a high transaction rate or a higher per purchase rate. And then as you grow and you're selling more on the platform, then you will start to sort of pay less and less and less. So that's another good option as well. And this is also for courses and memberships as well, which is really great to know. Then we have inventory elements, which is really good. It's a subscription based site, so it's not as high as sort of commission, but it is another really good one. AppSumo is really popular in the coaching community. So if you are sort of in that community or you sell to that community, this might be a really good one for you. It doesn't cost anything to sort of initially upload things, but then they do take a little bit of a chunk of whatever you sell. So that's another great one. Creative Fabrica is another really good one. So there's lots and lots of clip art on Creative Fabrica, but you can also upload Canva templates and things like that. And finally, Design Bundles is another great one. Again, there's clip art on here, but there's also Canva templates, fonts, things like that. So when I talk about sort of diversifying your portfolio and putting your digital products on other platforms, I always think it's a good idea after you have established that first sort of store to the best of your ability. So you never want to be sort of spreading yourself thin and starting all these different stores and all these different places without building one up first. But if you build an Etsy store up to a reasonable amount of income, it's probably pretty wise to actually start a couple of different pillars of income with those same products. Thank you so much for watching. So this is actually part of our challenge that we have going on at the moment. It's running for 28 days in February. So definitely if you're interested in that, I will link the playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.